Welcome back to Shoe Lights. Let's talk about measuring candela of your flashlights. So that's intensity, and candela ratings are really useful for telling how far a flashlight will go, because once you've got the candela rating, you can convert it to meters of throw and vice versa. So it's a really useful measurement. All you're gonna need is a light meter, and uh, I'm gonna be talking mostly about this Unity today, which I just got, so don't uh, take, get the impression that I know it super well. I just got it moments ago, but I'll tell you why I got it in a second. I've been using this uh, Dr. Lux, or Dr. Meter, sorry, Dr. Meter, the LX1330B, which is uh, very re well regarded for an inexpensive light meter over on BLF, and it comes in this nice case, and you can get this on Amazon readily. I think it was like 20, maybe 30 bucks. It wasn't too expensive. Got a little kickstand and uh, turn it on. It's got a little, little uh, the sensor's on like a cord with a wand. So that's nice. You can get it any angle you want. So let's go ahead and uh, turn that on. You see right now it's measuring about 180 uh, ambient lux. Lux is equivalent to one lumen. So lux and lumen are synonymous. Now, let's go ahead and open up this Unity. Let's get this guy out. Okay. And uh, inside the box, uh, you get three free batteries. I put my own in. And there's a really uh, terrible little pamphlet for a manual. So that's what you get. Now, let's, let's start with why I even bothered getting this new Unity UT383BT. Well, the BT stands for Bluetooth. And um, you see it right there. And this thing will hook up with an app to a tablet or iPhone or something like that. It's Android and iOS. I use iOS, but it, it's both. Now, the reason that we're interested in this is because when you take Lux meter uh, readings, you're using your thrower, your flashlight, and you're six meters away, and you want to write down what's going on on various modes. So you're holding the flashlight in one hand, right? You know, here, look, grab a flashlight. So you're holding a flashlight in one hand, you're hitting buttons, but you got to read this little screen that's six to 10 or five to 10 meters away. It's just a pain in the butt. So this thing with the app access should solve all that. So let's take a look what we got. First off, um, let's just turn it on. So press and hold. And I'll point out that these guys, here, let me get this like this. Point out that, um, well, we got to aim it at the same spot, but so, oh gosh. And with the camera, oh, there you go. See, you have 200. See, it's about the same. All right, so I found it to be reasonably the same. Um, off camera, I was uh, holding it very gingerly, pointing it at a light, and I noticed that they were basically exactly the same, bang on, in the 200 to 300 lumen range. Now, I haven't checked up to like 20,000 lumens, but I, I suspect that they're pretty decent. These things are uh, calibrated at the factory for usually plus or minus 5%, which is good enough for us uh, as flashlight enthusiasts. Now let's take a look at the Bluetooth and then how we use this to convert Candela. So you're gonna need to get, let's see here, there we go, uh, an app called INV, I guess I Environment, I don't know, and it's by Unity. So you're gonna get this thing, see INV on the App Store. Now, at first, I was trying to get this to show up over here, and I was hitting scan and all this stuff, and I was very confused. Turns out the Bluetooth isn't on unless you turn it on and then press and hold the power button again, and there's a little Bluetooth indicator right here. So press and hold, and then it shows up. And notice I'm getting a live reading right now, uh, right there. So if I tap it, it's going to connect, and it'll give me uh, a bigger display, but also gives me access to some controls that would be right here on the app. Now, these controls are going to be super important because you're probably going to use Max a lot. So what you do is you'd get a meter stick like this guy, right? A meter stick um, or a tape measure if you want, and you're going to measure off at least five meters, I would say. Most people... Uh, I mean, you're going to have to find that space, and it's pretty good to do this indoors so that you can control the lighting. You know, turn all the lights off, maybe draw the blinds or shades uh, so there's no extraneous light. And you're going to want at least five meters. Some people do it at three, six, ten. 
Uh, and there are calculation tables that I'll show you. But um, as I said, I, I've, I've been told that at least five is a good way to go. So now what you're going to do is you're going to plant this thing five meters away. You're going to hit max, and then it's going to hold the maximum amount of lumens. So for example, if I take this video light and kind of bring it closer, you can see that when I take it away, it retains the highest that it read. So that's really important. If you uncheck it, it goes back to a live reading. Now, notice that it's reading at about the rate of one sample a second. I mean, internally, it may be sampling higher than that and averaging, but I know that it only displays one a second. That's one thing I want to point out about this other doctor meter is this one's about, I don't know, three to five times a second. So um, that could be good or bad. I mean, if something's fluctuating too much, it's sometimes really a pain in the butt to read. So I just point that out. But as I, get, as I said, I just got this today, so I can't speak too much about whether I like it or not yet. Now, what I'd do is I'd set this guy up, and I'm just going to fake this. So we're not going to do it for real. But set it up, uh, you know, somewhere. I don't know, prop it somewhere. Oh, by the way, I also want to point out that this thing turns. Oh, it doesn't. All right. I also want to point out this this doesn't turn. That's a standard feature on almost every meter I can think of. Apparently on this one, it does not turn. Yeah, no, it's it's fixed. Okay, so I want to point out that this does not turn. I'm going to put it right there. Uh, I got my <clears throat> BLF GT, which is pretty much overkill, but it's just sitting right here. And I'm going to hit max. Now, now, pretend that this is six meters, five, six meters away. I've measured it out on, on the floor with the tape measure, and I've taped everything. And, you know, it, you know, centimeters matter, okay? Now, I've got this, my uh, iPad or my phone in my hands. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the flashlight on and aim it at it. Now, notice that, especially with the GT here, notice that the BLF GT has kind of a donut shape to it. So you're going to want to kind of move this around and make sure you get the highest reading it can produce. And also make sure that when you're holding the light, you know, you're know you not going in, closer to it, and out. I mean, that's going to affect it. It's got to be exactly at that measurement. Now, once you've got it, you can turn it off, and you're going to take this Lux measurement here, so 5617 Lux, and you know how far you were away from it. And you're going to plug it into a table. So let's take a look at that. Over here on my computer, there we go. I am at rapidtables.com, and I'm at the Lux to Candela calculator. So I'm going to put in the Lux that I read, which is 5617. And uh, make sure that you set this to meters. On my phone, sometimes this is hard to see, and it's off the screen. And I've left it at feet before and put in, let's say, six meters, and then hit calculate and gotten a really crazy candela measurement and not understood what was going on. And it was because I just had this on set to the wrong thing. So meters, calculate, and there you go. Um, based on this fake measurement, I would have 200,000 candela. So hopefully that's useful to you. And uh, go forth and measure your flashlights. And note that, oh, you know what? One last thing. I should point out. So additionally to the 200,000 candela that we now know, we can open up a new window. And Dave's Tech Reviews has a great little article. Dave's Tech Reviews. Candela. Great little article here. Where is it? Converting candela to throw. This one right here. This Love this article. So... What's good about this is you can convert candela to throw and back and forth. So if you know the candela, which we do, 200,000, then all you got to do is multiply by four, square root it, and you get the throw. Uh, let me get my calculator. Calculator. All right. So let's do that. So 200,000. And then uh, multiplied by four times four, and then go ahead and square root. Okay, square root is right here. And enter. Whoops. Oh, I got to put it in front of it. 
Weird calculator. All right. There we go. So you can see that 200,000 candela would be equivalent to 894 meters of throw. Okay? And down in this article, you can also see that you can go the other way. If you somehow measured the throw of something, you could get the candela out of it as well. Now, here's the thing. I want to point out that that doesn't necessarily mean exactly what you think. Uh, it turns out that measuring the throw of something, it's not just how far you see the light go. For example, if I shine my flashlight at a water tower and I detect it at a kilometer, that doesn't necessarily mean that it was a kilometer throw. There's a certain amount of resolution you need. Actually, no, it's not. I'm sorry, that's not true. I believe, okay, I say I believe, so there's a disclaimer, that it's measured at being able to measure one lux at that distance. So uh, there's something like that. You can go ahead and look it up if you care more. But anyways, here we go. That's my quick and dirty little video on how to use this new little meter here that I picked up to remotely measure candela. All right, guys. See you later.